So we've seen these alleged prophecies of Muhammad in the Bible. And when we compare them to the prophecies about the coming of Jesus, it's like night and day. The prophecies of the coming of Jesus are so clear that there's no question about what is being said. Let's look, for example, in Isaiah chapter 53 and just read the verses. Who has believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions and he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wounds we are healed. We are all like sheep, having gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and who can speak of his descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked, and the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, for he bore the sins of many, and he made intercession for the transgressors. So we can see that this is clearly talking about a man who is cursed for the sake of many, who would take the sins upon his own shoulders, who would suffer, and who would be rejected and despised by men. This is a clear, clear prophecy about the coming of Jesus. And it's talking about a coming of a man. Compare that to the various prophecies about Muhammad in the Bible, which simply aren't prophecies. It says that he was going to be a brethren to the Israelites. Yet Muhammad was not. In Isaiah, the prophecy, the alleged prophecy, doesn't even talk about the coming of a man. And same with Song of Solomon's. And in, in the book of John, we're talking about the Holy Spirit. Whereas here, it's clearly talking about a man who will be suffering for our inequities and carrying our sins. It's talking about Jesus in the clearest terms imaginable. There is a big difference between prophecies in the Bible about Jesus and alleged prophecies about Muhammad.